it's time for us to have a list a, a history lesson there ladies and gentlemen and these are the people that was the behind the scenes of the slave trade now on november the 5th 2022 there's a rally that's taking place in washington dc for reparations now the blacks are now demanding to have reparations we've been asking for reparations for nearly 400 years now a man like this was also a part of his community they were part of the slave trade with the help of America that allowed him appoint him to be the Secretary of War and the Secretary of the State of Louisiana, better known as New Orleans. Now, this is how it started. His life was kind of difficult because they're saying that some, some of his family came from Germany, they came from France or somewhere part of Europe. Then they ended up migrating to America. Now, on the birth certificate, they claim him as a United States American but he came from family of immigrants. He graduated from Yale University in public political science, and he specialized, emphasized with common law. The reason why I know about this man, because I remember I had to take a class in business law, and we had to do a paper on finding out the history of common law, and he so happened to be one of the men that I did the paper on. Anyway, moving right along, in the midst of him graduating from Yale University, he became a cabinet under Jefferson Davis, who was the president of the United States. And he also gave him two appointments. He was the executive house and also he was a Democrat. Now, a lot of Democrats and both Republicans owned slaves. And at that time, they thought that slave trade was the, was the commodity of America and that will help capitalize America and build up the infrastructure and also the economical structure. So they both played opposite of the fence when it came to slavery. He, on the other hand, played the fence of let's keep them. And once he knew that he was defeated about that, when it came to the Emancipation Proclamation, he said no. When it came to the time when they needed them to become citizens, he declined that also too. But there's more to the story. If it you wait for two on um, part two and three. Now moving along, because he was the secretary of, uh, secretary of war, he started creating wars. He had silent wars so that he can try to infiltrate and take away Louisiana. And he also did the same thing with Virginia because at that time, those were the best import exports um, seaport areas for distribution of slaves. 